Hey everybody, welcome back to the Miniac. And in today's video, sitting right behind me is a 2020 Mini Cooper S Countryman All 4. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over this car, show you all the features on it. And there's a lot of neat options on this car. So let's get to it. So for starters, you all see that this car is in British Racing Green with a black roof, black mirror caps. It has the night jack side scuttle caps. It has the British spoke wheels, and these are 19 inch Mini Yours British spoke wheels. So it has that. It has the off-road package, which gives you the black bumpers. It has the blackout package for the badging. This black door handles, this car has everything. And inside, it's all luxury. This is the Chesterfield leather in light oak, which is going to be renamed British oak, actually. So pretty nice. You got the mini Yours steering wheel, paddle shifters. You have the eight speed automatic. This is an all four car, so it's all wheel drive. It The list goes on. And if you go to the back, plenty of room to fit three people. And it also has the USB-C ports, so that's a new one. Very, very nice, very comfortable. Plenty of cargo space, too, if you come back here. The hatch, automatic open. And if you push the button up here, it would close it. So as far as cargo space, big trunk area, and if you flip up the load floor, even more storage below that. And it looks like this even has, yep, this has a compact space saver spare tire as well. So you get that with this car, which is nice. You also get extra mini or er, wheel caps. So fold that back down. And if you want to increase the cargo capacity of your mini, pull this lever here, or this strap, I should say. And seat folds flat. And it's a flat load floor, so you can get large boxes or what have you in and out of the vehicle fairly easily and then when you need to shut the hatch you push the button and it comes back down so this is loaded this is power everything this even has power seats with the with one and two settings for memory so if you're a two driver family and one driver has their seat forward one has their seat further back and up you can set this accordingly and it even has power lumbar support which is always nice in the center here you have a center armrest with a location to put your mobile device if you so have one configured and this looks like it's set up for an iphone and it looks like it actually is set up for an iphone so this is i think one of the new docks that charges through the back of the phone like uh all the new iphones do so that's kind of cool but this thing is loaded and there's another USB port in the front here for what have you there. Also, you might notice the color line right here. So this is accent lighting. You can change it to any color you want. And if we go under the bonnet, we will find the standard engine for this model, which is a 189 horsepower, two liter, four cylinder turbocharged motor with 207 foot pounds of torque. And if I pop the cover off and burn my hand, there we go, you'll see this engine. And as you can see, compared to the Cooper I showed you, fills up the entire engine bay. So here's that fourth cylinder. So these are the three, here's that fourth one. So Nothing really has changed. It looks like it's been updated a little bit, actually, now that I think about it. So there looks like there have been some improvements made to the Cooper S engine for the 2020 model year. So that's pretty nice, but not much else, and the horsepower is still the same. This vehicle also has the black piano black trim, 
and piano black grill. There's the black badging, some more. LED headlights, LED fog lights, forward sensors. So if you notice, this car has sensors all over the place. There's rear sensors, there's front sensors. And what exactly do all those do? Well, what all those do is an awful lot. So if we start the car, you notice an eight inch touch screen. So this has navigation. This also has Apple CarPlay if you so have it. Go into all of our settings here. Driving, sport display, you name it. And if we push this button, we got our frontal collision warning and we have pedestrian warning. So we can configure that however we wish for warning time early, medium, or late. In our case, we're gonna do early. Go back out of there. Mini country timer. There's something. This is interesting. This is something new for me. This is, looks like it's a hill assist thing. Interesting. So we can go street cruiser. What is this? Oh, cool. Has a compass. Okay, folks, I, this is new, completely new for me. I've never noticed this before. Gives me my latitude, longitude, my altitude. Holy crap. This is interesting. I've never noticed this before. So that is whatever that is. So I guess this is if you're off on a trail or something. That's neat. Huh, I learn something new every day. So I didn't even know that was there. Now, if I put the car in reverse, you'll notice that I have a parallel parking button right here. That is my automatic parallel parking. So this car will park itself. I got my reverse camera. I got my parking sensors and all that stuff. So this should, in theory, park itself. And I'm gonna try to see if I can demonstrate that. So anyway, I'm gonna find a spot where I can parallel park this car. And we are scanning for parking spaces. So I'm gonna to try to find one where I can actually do this so that you guys can get a better idea. And I found one. This is crazy. My hands are not touching the steering wheel. Holy crap. And that's it. So I just let the car parallel park itself. That was insane. Granted, I had a really wide area to do this. That is something I did not expect. And that was kind of fun. At the same time, it also was nerve wracking. So if any of you out there drive a Tesla, you're going to be, you probably know exactly how I felt there trying to let the car parallel park. That is something that is just not something I'm used to. Shifter's now in Sport Plus. Already the shifting's different. And the reason I did that is we're heading up to my favorite road and I wanted you all to see what it's like to drive a luxurious Mini Countryman incredibly fast. And here we go. And these 19 inch wheels and tires, because this has the British spoke wheels, really have a lot of grip and makes the ride a lot easier. They're a little on the harsh side, but for performance driving, they're fantastic. And I highly recommend them. And stopping this 3,600 pound behemoth is fairly quick as well. And the acceleration is phenomenal. Whew, I like it. 
cornering, where minis are known for, even the countrymen can corner like nobody's business. And this is no exception. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is great. It really holds the road. And of course, people cut off and spoil your fun. Typical. So, the stability control in this is phenomenal. The traction control in this is phenomenal. The all four system makes this a very capable vehicle. And even for around town driving, it's fantastic. This is very, very compliant. It does what you want it to do. And the steering is very responsive. So it steers where you want the car to go. You want the car to turn any direction you want. It's going that direction. doesn't matter what you're doing, it's going to go that direction. The steering response is, fanta is fantastic. The throttle response in sport mode is fantastic. And everything else is fantastic. So I'm hopping off the highway here because I'm going to switch up the systems a little bit. We're going to go around town. I'm going to turn the AC on so it might be a little noisy. I'm just going to have a little bit of AC. But I'm going to switch the car back to regular drive. And I'm going to put the car in eco mode or green mode. So we're now in green mode. And this now is minimalism motion. So engine running. So we're now in the minimal mode here where you don't want to be incredibly quick off the line, <clears throat> but you want to drive the car refined and carefully. And that's how you keep your car in the nice green bar on the screen here. So if you accelerate, it goes down. And if you brake, it goes up. So it's kind of a very slow mode. And honestly, I've heard the green mode, I've heard a lot of people who have green, who have the current generation minis, they use green mode in the winter time because it changes the sh way the car shifts. So driving on snow and ice actually makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more tolerable and a little bit less dangerous. So kind of a neat thing to do there. I really like that. So it's very casual, very quaint. Yes, it's alerting me that the engine is running. My minimalism analyzer, my uh, fish in the fishbowl looks a little pissed. He doesn't look very happy at me. So. so along with all the other bells and whistles that this car has, it also has the heads up display, which I really like. Compass in the mirror, has an alarm. It has everything. I mean, this is incredible. This car is seriously loaded. And 45000 is what the price is on this. That's actually not that bad for what is basically a small SUV. So, I like it. This was really fun driving this. And I hope you enjoyed this little overview of the car. Tune in next time when I actually go out and do a little handling video and then the following video after that will be a performance video where I put this car through its paces. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like below. Don't forget to comment and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel as I upload videos Monday and Friday at 2 p.m. So until next time, I'm just going to remind you all that life is too short to drive a boring car. So as always, drive a Mini. I'll catch you all later.